usually when couples come for an infertility evaluation, the assumption is that the problem lies with the woman. And we find about a third of the time the problem will be associated with the woman, a third of the time it may be a problem with the male, and about a third of the time, slightly less than that, uh, the problem is both. Uh, sometimes we have unexplained infertility, but it's important that um, very early on in the infertility evaluation before any treatment that an evaluation of the male is carried out. The semen analysis is going to tell us about the number of sperm, the concentration, the volume, and do they look normal. Frequently, though, the issue of sperm morphology is overlooked, meaning that the sperm are, do not appear normal. And when high percentages of abnormal sperm are found, this may indicate a problem that may be interfering with the sperm in other ways. So if we're suspicious based on medical history or on abnormal morphology on the sperm test, we're going to go ahead and do a sperm DNA test because simply getting sperm and egg together may not solve the fertility problem. If there's an abnormality in the semen analysis that's severe, in addition to just doing the DNA testing and semen analysis, we'll want to check chromosomes in a test called the Y microdeletion study. This is going to make sure we have the correct number of chromosomes and the chromosomes don't appear to be damaged. But more importantly, with the Y deletion studies, we get to look at various segments of the Y chromosome that are important for uh, forming the sperm. If these abnormalities are noted, pregnancy rates may be quite low, and you run the risk of passing on a fertility defect to male offspring. In some cases, there are no sperm at all in the ejaculate, and these tests will help us predict whether doing a biopsy of the testicle will provide sperm for use in IVF.